there everyone, it's Ryan on Mazoe News. Finally, Manchester City win the Premier League. Thank you. At long last, my Facebook feed is quiet. I've got a lot of Manchester United fans there. My Twitter feed is quiet. My phone is quiet. Oh yes, it's a great day. I'm not hearing any gloating and any arrogant shouts of victory from Manchester United fans. Thank you, Mancini, you've done us great. I thought it was over, you know. When Cissé scored that goal for QPR, I was like, oh no, that's it. Man, you have won the league, can you believe it? But, yo, that's not the case at all. It's not the case. <laughs> John, how does it feel? <gasps> T, how does it feel? You've lost, and you've lost badly. It's just, ouch. I can feel your pain, literally. And wow, what a day. And me, obviously, I'm a Chelsea fan, so hey. One more week to go. Yo, yo, we're going to be taking out Bayern Munich. Bayern Munchen, you better watch out. We're going to take you out. Mother say knock you out. Yeah, I believe in Chelsea. A lot of people didn't believe Chelsea would even get in the final, but hey, here we are. We're in the final, no one else is. Barcelona is out, Real Madrid is out. All the other big clubs are out and we're in and we're gonna win it. And we have to win it, we have that pressure. Obviously Bayern Munich have pressure as well. They have to win it because they have a financial issue going on down there that actually, if they actually win it, they will pay off all their debts and whatnot. So, oof, they've got a real incentive. But Chelsea, yo, if they don't win, next year they're missing out on the Champions League. And that's a very, very big financial incentive that they have to really face and get out of the way. And they will do it. And I have every faith in them. So, hey, Saturday's that day. We'll see. Yeah. But, yo, I'm just glad this is over. I'm just really, really glad. And Barton, what was it on his mind? Elbowing thingy, Tevez. Obviously, he's going to say Tevez provoked him and whatnot. But no one cares. Hey, what the ref saw, saw. And what's on camera is on camera. No one cares. You are violent. You've got a long history of violence. So you shouldn't be playing football, mate. You should be playing Taekwondo or something. Which, of course, you probably get knocked out anyway. So, hey, you shouldn't be doing any of that. You should be in jail. I think Papiti's goal was the best. That outrageous effort by Papiti Cisse was the greatest goal of the Premiership. Amazing. It was an honor for me to see it live. Wow. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. Poi cerca ci mette del suo. Perché lì doveva intervenire. Se noi tutti siamo rimasti immagino ammirati, lui è but anyway, victory for Manchester City, thank you. We needed a new champion, we needed to silence Manchester United. That was just really, really needed. I'm sure 99% of all the UK was like, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you Manchester City. Thank you Balotelli, he really played an instrumental part in this whole season. He really built up Manchester City, even though he is so unstable and so some sometimes it looks like he's lost his mind with all the parties and whatnot. But hey, that guy can play. When it comes to football, that guy can play. He can really, 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 really play. And yeah, the consistency is 98%. But hey, that's as good as any other person. So hey, but Balotelli, company, and. Thank you very much. Thank you Manchester City. Victory 3-2 against QPR. Manchester United won 1-0. But still, hey, that didn't count for anything in the end. And wow, a priceless. Two goals in two last minutes of the game. That was just... Mwah! It couldn't have been better. It could not have been better. The best victory to do it in the last minute. That's just heartbreaking because a lot of Man U fans think, yo, we've won it! Manchester City are probably going to draw. Oh, no, they're not. They were actually lost. Ouch. Ouch. That burns. I'm sure that really burnt. <laughs> oh, dear me. 
And what was with the Manchester City fans? I saw the, some of the players after they win, they won the, the whole thingy. After they won the Premier League, the Premier League, they were they were wearing shirts which were which were which were written champions at the back. I'm like, hey, isn't that a bit overconfident? Why have you got shirts that are written champions at the back? What if you had lost? Would you have thrown away those shirts or something? Or oh, I don't know. But that was well, well okay, that's interesting. But like, hey. Thank you for doing it! So this white guy come out, this white old guy, I'm sure he's like in his 70s, he's like <gasps> I've never cried like this <laughs> in my life! Manchester City have won after so many years, 40 what, who, what, 40 something years, 44 years or something, we've won the league, oh my god! <laughs> I've never cried! I was like, oh damn, dude, relax, it's just a football game, there's no need to show that kind of emotion. But then again, I've heard people that have killed themselves over Manchester United losing in Nigeria and whatnot, so hey, people are crazy, I know football is emotional and all, but hey, don't let it affect your life that way, not worth it. But hey, thanks for watching anyway, Mazoe News, Ryan talking, thank you. See ya.